Hey guys, it's Renaissancia, but you can call me Marjorie. This is my first voice video, so bear with me. Today's video is of course the 6 fan arts challenge, which I know is a bit old by now. I actually did the sketching for this challenge on April 8th, and I know that because I had surgery the same day, and as a result my sketching turned out kind of wonky. I didn't work on this any further than the sketching until about mid-June due to my recovery and of course everything that's going on in the world. But I did come back to it and I fixed some of the sketches, especially Serana because So the characters I chose for this challenge are Kakashi from Naruto, Lilith from Borderlands, Saifa from Castlevania, Daphne from Scooby-Doo, Serana from Skyrim, and Jackie Laura from Monster High. The video is shown in that order, but I actually painted these out of order. I went Serana, Lilith, Kakashi, Daphne, Saifa, and then Draculaura. So you'll see kind of a change in my painting quality as the video progresses, because I learned a lot of things with each new character that I did. So let's talk about the characters going in kind of the order that the video is in. So first up is Kakashi from Naruto. Now, Naruto is actually the reason I started drawing in the first place. Um, I really fell in love with the story. Um, I was actually also recovering from surgery back then when I got into it. And I went online and I saw a bunch of people making these characters I didn't recognize. And it turns out they were OCs. And I thought, oh, I could make an original character. That would be super fun. So that's exactly what I did and from that point forward I kind of fell in love with drawing and even now that I'm much older and I've kind of fallen out of fangirling over Naruto, my one of my favorite anime characters of all time is of course Kakashi. He's just so handsome, I love his character, um, his development throughout the series is very interesting. Um, I'm not sure if I liked all the writing in Naruto or how the story went, but it, it, it does hold a very good place in my heart and it's a series I really appreciate. Now next is Lilith from Borderlands. Borderlands, when I first played it, it was such a unique game in both graphics and the writing. It was just so funny, it was very enjoyable. And I really fell in love with Lilith, and even after playing the second and third Borderlands and the pre-sequel, I really love Lilith as a character. And if you were wondering if I was bummed out by the end of the third Borderlands, I indeed was. Because I just love her so much. I love her personality. I love her strength. I love her, I love her abilities. Everything about her I just absolutely adore. I don't have much to say about Saifa. I'm pretty new to the Castlevania franchise. Uh, of course, I've, I actually started watching the anime before I started doing anything with the games. Um, and as far as the games go, I've only really played with the characters that are in Super Smash Brothers, the new one, or at least the most recent one. But I really like Saifa's character. She's very funny. Uh, she's very endearing. I think she's just super cute and I really love all the scenes that she's in. Next up is Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Um, if you've kind of followed my channel or if you came here from my Instagram or Behance, um, then you'll know I kind of have a thing for horror art and spooky stuff and I kind of want to thank Scooby-Doo for that, also uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and Curse of Cowardly Dog, but especially Scooby-Doo because it was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. I remember I watched the original which was Scooby-Doo Where Are You and then What's New Scooby-Doo and then I had so many Scooby-Doo movies. I had Ghoul School, I had Alien and Vaders, I had Zombie Island, and just so many Scooby-Doo movies, and I love watching a lot of Scooby-Doo series. I haven't really watched the new ones, um, I don't really like the art style that much, and if I don't like the art style on something, I usually don't watch it. But throughout all the series, Daphne has also always been one of my favorites. I don't know, I just really like her because she's really pretty. 
Next up on the list is Serana from Skyrim. Now, as far as Serana goes, she is probably my favorite character in the franchise aside from Shea Gorath. When it comes to video games, I've been playing this since I was really young, but the first video game I really got into was uh, The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And so, of course, when Skyrim came out, I was really excited. And when the Dawnguard DLC released and I met Serana, I just totally fell in love with her character and her design. And she was the first one uh, as far as the six fan arts that I did. And I'm not too happy with her, but I at least I'm, am happy that I fixed the sketch. And um, I think doing her really helped me see that I've come a long way from of uh, how I used to paint, but I still have a long way to go. But she is just one of my favorite characters in that franchise. I love her friendship with the Dragonborn, and I love her story arc during the Dawnguard DLC. Finally is Dracula from Monster High. I don't have much to say about Monster High. By the time we got into the series, I was kind of a bit older, so I didn't really play with the dolls anymore. But I really liked the episodes and I liked the character designs because again, I like spooky designs but also like how they were very cute and they were kind of a different take and I really enjoyed what they were back then. I know they got rebooted recently and they're not quite the same as they were but I did really like the series and Dracula was my favorite. I just now she was the cutest and I actually messed up on the design in this piece from the reference I saw it looked like that thing around her neck went all the way around her shoulders and then um, after I had finished I saw another picture of her and as it turns out it doesn't go around her shoulder so sorry to all the hardcore Dracula fans for messing up on that one so that's about all I have to say about this. I really learned a lot about skin rendering and texture rendering during this and I was really happy to see uh, my progress that I've made throughout the whole series. So enjoy the rest of the video and if you stuck around for this long, thank you so much. And I hope to start making more videos soon. I just think it kind of motivates me to keep drawing and to just keep making artwork because I've been in kind of a slump for a very long time. So if you're still here, thank you for listening and I'll see you around.